Dope with Sports Talk Worldwide with some news from the world of boxing. So y'all know what time it is. You ain't in a rush to get concussed. Now boxing, it disappoints the whole time, man. This sport is a really weird. You know, another huge fight that you know, you're know you hoping for in the back of your mind, but you know it's not going to really happen because, you know, if it would have happened and you fall in boxing, then it probably would have happened six years, five years ago, four years ago, three years ago, or something like that. But you still had a little hope, right? And that would be Terrence Crawford versus Manny Pacquiao. Manny Pacquiao is a legend, right? But Crawford is number one pound for pound, trying to get big fights, and he really can't get it because he's number one pound for pound, because no one wants to see him fight Pacquiao, right? And Pacquiao, Bud, uh, Bud Crawford, is the only guy that Manny Pacquiao has never wanted to fight, that he's been avoiding, right? People can say it as much as you want, but his, his, his uh, promoter used to tell people that he didn't want him to fight him, and his trainers tell people that he didn't want him to fight him. And, you know, at some point, if you're the fighter, you'll be like, I don't care what my promoter says or my trainer, I don't want this guy. Terrence Crawford has come from smaller weights than him, from 140 pounds or 135, to, he would have fought him at 147. You know, and, and another example is Pacquiao lately wanted $40 million. <clears throat> First he wanted $20 million to fight Crawford, which is way more than he would want from anybody else, right? Then he wants $40 million to fight Terrence Crawford, way more than he wants to fight anybody else, right? And, and people still don't want to see Pacquiao in there with him. You know, the latest is Telly Atlas saying, hey, we, Pacquiao's last, will be his last fight, he's going to get knocked out. Stephen A. Smith saying the same thing, you get knocked out, mess with him. People don't really want to see that. That's why right now, you can see the people, and it's a big sigh of relief that this fight has not happened. It's fell through, the investors didn't come through with the money, because they had to come through with $50 million. Now, when he starts talking about fighting uh, Mikey Garcia, we won't have this. Right, all of a sudden, uh, Errol Spence will be in the mix for fighting Manny Pacquiao. Now, Errol Spence is supposed to be the baddest one in there in the welterweight division. Pacquiao's not going to want 40 million to fight him, and he's not going to be scared to fight him. Right, he's only scared for Terrence Crawford. And for me, no matter what everyone else is saying, that shows me how awesome Terrence Crawford is. Everybody's like, "Well, Terrence goes right back to the other stuff." Well, he didn't get a big fight. Well, he should sign with this guy or sign with this guy. Like wherever you sign would make a difference. When you're awesome, you're awesome. It doesn't matter when you sign. When the others don't want to fight you, right, they don't. If they did, uh, Jamal Charlo, who signed with Al Heyman, would have finally got a, a fight with, uh, with Canelo Alvarez. But, you know, while being signed at Al Heyman, they made the franchise belt, a.k.a. Charlo belt, so Canelo doesn't have to fight him, right? Signed by, with Al Heyman. It does not matter. Right? And then, matter of fact, matter of fact, Charlo is getting treated funny because he's going to fight Montiel. Now, he just fought Darian Chinko, but he's going to fight Montiel. And Montiel's record is funny, too. It's like 24 and 4 with 24 knockouts, which means I might lose, but if I don't, somebody get knocked out. Even a fighter like that, he can't fight after Darian Chinko. Right? But Canelo, I did, just did a video about Canelo fighting Yildirims. And, and, and Roy Fielding's of the world, and, and, and running away from Benavides, and running away from Andre, and running away from uh, Charlo, and people get upset talking about, well, what about Charlo? Right? When Charlo, wait a minute, if it wasn't for him, we wouldn't have a franchise title in boxing. That means this must be a scary dude if we come up with a new belt to avoid people like Charlo. If Charlo's name was Samaretta, right? Yildirim, you know, uh, Steve Rose or something, we would have never had no franchise, a.k.a. Charlo belt. The reason that belt exists is because Charlo is dangerous. Now, if Charlo wants to call me up to fight, then damn it, he should have an easy fight. He shouldn't stop fighting all these hard fights if the Canelos of the world won't, if the Gennady Golovkins of the world won't, and still be considered better than you. Once the mainstream media starts saying, hey, Canelo, you're not uh, in the top 10 pound for pound, because we we're just not going to say that no more, because you're just not 10 for, uh, pound for pound top 10 worthy. Gennady Golovkin, you're not top 20 pound for pound worthy, so we're not going to even go there anymore, and we're going to start calling these people that you're not fighting a little bit of, ahead of you. Okay, that's what's going to happen. Then we can start talking about it like that. But, but if not, if the best people don't have to fight nobody all of the time over six years, then whatever. 
So back up to uh, Terrence Crawford. It, it, no, listen, he, you know, he's not getting a fight with Pacquiao because Pacquiao doesn't want it. He had asked to uh, price himself out, basically, and he's, he has. So now we'll start talking about, hey, you know, Terrence Crawford, now you need to fight Sean Porter. But Errol Spence, who barely beat Sean Porter, never has to readdress that. We had a, a belt that some people might think is easy to get with Jordinas Ugas. Do you know who everyone wants to fight Ugas? They want Errol Spence to do that. They didn't ever say, hey, you know something? Hey, you know, uh, Terrence Crawford, you get Ugas. No. No, they, no, it's always Spence, you can get Ugas and have your third belt in the division. Anybody ever tell Errol Spence, hey, Errol Spence, give Pat, uh, Terrence Crawford 50-50, man. Give him 50-50. Deontay Wilder gave Tyson Fury 50-50 when he was on the couch. And he wasn't a champion or nothing. Gave him 50-50. No, matter of fact, Deontay Wilder doesn't even get kudos for that. But he gave him 50-50 because he wanted to fight. Right? Terrence Crawford's number one pound for pound. Coming up in your weight division. Being number one pound for pound. Three division champion. And uh, Errol Spence should be wanting to get that. No one's saying that. You know, it's like, hey, Terrence Crawford, just take what you get. Oh, now that you can't get that, go fight uh, Sean Porter, which Ugas ain't had to readdress. And uh, your boy ain't got to readdress either. Errol Spence. You know, something, when you're very, very dangerous, people act really, really weird. Really, really weird to this guy, right? But it doesn't matter. It probably doesn't matter now because now that we don't get Manny Pacquiao versus uh, Terrence Crawford, I, I really don't really care. You know, all other fights can just happen or whatever. Who, you know, who cares? You know, because the man's going to continue to be get, it, uh, get treated funny instead of boxing royalty, which I consider him to be. Uh, when you have Undisputed on your name, and that's how Terrence Crawford has that, he's boxing royalty. Errol Spence isn't yet. He's going to be, though. We all know Errol Spence is awesome. But he has two belts in the welterweight division, and he's been there forever. He hasn't been down or up. He's got two belts in that division. You're talking to somebody who's done that two, twice. Shoot, he had two belts in, in the lightweight. He had them all in junior, uh, in junior um, welterweight. Trying to become undisputed at his, th his second weight division. Whatever. Let's see what happens going forward. It's just uh, typical for boxing. You're not getting that fight. Um, people don't want to see this brother in a fight where, you know, with Manny Pacquiao. And, I, and watch what I tell you. Pacquiao versus Garcia, nobody be worried about Pacquiao. Pacquiao won't be asking for 40 million, right? Watch that. Pacquiao versus Spence or Pacquiao versus anybody else, right? There won't be these shenanigans about wanting 40 million and everybody's going to want him to fight it. No one's going to be worried about nothing. And then you think about it. Damn, these guys that are bigger than Terrence Crawford, they're only worried about Pacquiao's well-being when it comes to Terrence Crawford. That's it. No one else. And that's funny, but that just shows you Terrence Crawford's awesome. It doesn't matter what everybody, you say it, but why your actions, right? That, you already say that he's awesome. And now we could go back to saying, who has he fought? Why does he can't get a fight? You know, he should fight this guy and he should fight this guy. You know, when he was trying to fight the legend of Manny Pacquiao. And he can't get that. He can't get Errol Spence either. Errol Spence just wants astronomical money when it comes to him, right? But no one else either. So, that's telling you what time it is. Let's see what happens going forward. It's very disappointing, but as far as boxing goes, you guys know how I'm feeling lately. You know, uh, man, the sport really needs an overhaul. It really needs an overhaul, to be honest with you. It really does. I, 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 you know, I, can't, I can't really think of a fight that I'm really anxious to see. I, I re it's very hard-pressed. Let me think. Let me think for a second before I go. Let me see something I'm hyped about coming. Wait a minute. It's, got, it's one. It's one fight out there that I think I'm kind of hyped about seeing that's coming. Can't even think of it right now. Uh, but in, in the next video I do, I'll tell you the fight that, I, that I'm least kind of hyped that's coming. But right now, I can't even think of one. Because it's just extremely disappointing right now. Doma Sports Talk. Worldwide. And we up out of here, y'all.